Hey everybody, it's Moonhorse again. Um, coming in just before this video with a little bit of information. We're talking about the University of Utah healthcare program. Um, a friend of mine is not doing well and needs you guys, if you can, to look into this program, donate if you can, help out if you can. They're looking for, you know, donations, uh, people who can do live kidney transplants, the whole thing. This is a very good cause, and it's very, very important. So if you guys have anything you can do to help, or any way that you can help at all, uh, please do. It would mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to everybody. It's not just me. It's about everybody. Everybody's in this together, so we should all put together to actually do something. Like, if you're interested, or you have any way that you can possibly get in touch with this, or if you're in the area and you can do something to help out, you can contact them at youofyoulivingdonor.org. Or you can contact them at the phone number 801-587-8816. Uh, if you're interested in helping my friend specifically when you get through to somebody or you're talking to somebody, ask for Corinne C. Powell. That's who needs the help right now. It's this person who asked me to kind of help out, not just for her, but for everybody. So if you want to help out, you want to contribute to a good cause, you want to do something good, really help these people out they could use it all right so now on with the show okay this is a special one i don't know remember when i found this or why i see okay let me explain something before I read this. For those of you who are wondering where the hell... Where the hell does Moonhorse find these fan fictions? It's a bunch of different places, and I end up, like, bookmarking them, and then forgetting that I bookmarked them. And then I go through them, and I forget why I bookmarked them, and then I read them, and then I remember why I bookmarked them. <laughs> so, this... This is a crossover fan fiction, apparently. Um, with Sonic the Hedgehog and My Little Pony. This is the best Sonic fanfic ever written by Rystar and me. And the description of this, which I have to read to you before I read this. Uh, first off, the entire thing is in capital letters. All of it. Just the entire thing. I don't know why. But the description is, this is every Sonic fanfiction in a nutshell. I am fucking excited for this. I'm not going to scream it, even though giant letters demand that I should. But, you know, fuck it. Uh, Once upon a time, Sonic and Amy had sex. The end. But wait! There's more! Sonic then gathered up his remaining semen in order to have sex with all his friends, including the males. He even had sex with his kids. He soon had. And then, Sonic ate a pill and suddenly became Rouge! And they all became best friends and rode into the wind. Amen! Rouge and Sonic had sex with Rouge Rouge and they were confused as to who was who. The end. Then everyone teamed up into brutally murder Sonic from the past so that he'd never exist. However, they failed just like Silver did in 2006. Then One Direction appeared and they all had sex and became super pregnant. And Sonic went to another dimension where he met his female counterpart. He also met Shadow's lost brother and the hedgehog versions of El Elise and Maria. I don't know who that is. Because transpectation is a thing now. My brother's a crab. Sonic also became trans, because why not? Yeah, and Sonic also became officially gay slash lesbian. He decided to marry Shadow in order to make the shipping universe complete. Then Sonic and Shadow had a child they named Silver. Also, they had incest with their chow relatives in order to look like creepy lunatics who liked bestiality. Then Eggman became jealous, and both with gay pedophilic intentions, raped Sonic. He made sure to give them a big juicy hard penis. This made Eggman's beastelic. He transformed into a female, a female furry, right in front of their eyes, anime hentai style. And out of nowhere, Cory appeared and kicked Trump out of the White House and Trump decided to become a Sonic character. Trump decided to replace Cubot Place because he was more experienced than Cubot. In order to convince Eggwoman to let him be the new Cubot, he built a wall around Cubot and trapped him in the country of Cubots. However, 
Cuba came back and professed his deep crush on Trump and his huge desire for the sex. Then, out of nowhere, every single MLP character appeared and they had sex with Sonic, resulting in pony hog babies. Then Sonic realized he liked to have babies wherever he, she, also realized that he, she liked the taste of horse meat and ate them all, and even the pony hogs. And he made sure to rape his her children before eating them come on step it up said sonic as he raped all his children then zero the god hog came completely original character do not steal and he murdered everyone and that's how sonic died the end please rate 10 out of 10 on wattpad deviant art also please follow our furry if twitter account we love furry if who doesn't thanks okay happy face stay tuned for our next story five nights at undertale the hedgehog inks machine that actually pretty much was every Sonic story ever. <laughs> wow. I am impressed. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you win the internet, kid. Congratulations. Holy fucking shit. Thanks for watching, everybody. You can like, comment, subscribe. Also, I have a Patreon if you want to send me a dollar. And, uh, just, wow. 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 <laughs> I mean, just, goddamn. Okay, bye.